camera girl is making spring rolls and she just showed me a new and more efficient way to roll the spring rolls. Now to make these you just need a little rice paper which you can get in an Asian market or in the Asian section of your grocery store. Now this rice paper is gonna look a little scary, you know, it almost looks like plastic, like something you get at Home Depot, but it's really just made from a paste of rice and water. So you're going to take the uh, spring roll paper, so you're just running them under the tap for literally three or four seconds, and then rolling them up on a damp towel. Amazing! You don't put your filling in the center, you put it off to the side. Yep. It gives you more rolling capacity. There you go. Ooh, a little hot sauce. Yep. So once you got it, whatever you want to put on it, you roll it like halfway over the fillings, pull it back towards you, and then you do burrito style. And you just sort of pull a little bit as you're going. And it's ready. Well, I gotta say, your spring rolls are much nicer than my spring rolls. And having a leaf on the bottom, any kind of leaf that you want, you know, we like the the Thai basil, but you can put lettuce. That's, it's rather nice. It sort of helps keep everything together. And this happens to be chicken. What have we tried? We tried marinated pork. Yeah, we did marinated pork spring rolls the other day, and now she's got marinated chicken. Yeah. And lots of fixins cilantro and basil. Basil is ideal mm -hmm. for spring rolls. It really is good. So you've got these filled up pretty full. You know, you just sort of play with it a little bit. Well, I like this towel idea. It's a lot less messy. There you go, that's fantastic. Oh. Now these things taste great with a peanut sauce. You know, I make a simple sauce of peanut butter, sesame oil, and rice wine vinegar. Get that all nice and mixed up, and that just tastes terrific. And then I always use a thinner sauce too that I just throw some uh, soy sauce, chili garlic sauce, and sesame seeds together. So I have a couple of dipping sauces that really, really make this a fun dish. Slice them in half so they don't look so inappropriate, you know, arrange them nicely on a plate. Serve them for an appetizer as your main meal with a little bit of rice. Whatever you want, you know, they're going to taste as awesome as whatever you put in them. So if you haven't made your own spring rolls, then do it. Give them a try. And let me know what you think, and bon appetit.